folks. I'm uh, real excited just to uh, share, and this is uh, my first attempt at a, a fretted instrument, um, I, uh, where I built my own neck and I and I I put frets on it. And this uh, this again is a um, salad bowl banjo uh, inspired. Uh, actually, initially inspired. I, I, I had said again to my wife, I was done. I, I built my last banjo. And then uh, a good friend of mine who's a, a, really a craftsman, woodworker, fine furniture maker, and so on, um, kind of was embracing the, the joy I was having in making instruments out of, out of uh, things that were laying around. And he gave me a beautiful piece of uh, a purple heart uh, that was actually this it was this I think this is the size of the piece that he gave me and uh, solid purple heart which I uh, was long enough that I could make this uh, this neck out of pure purple heart um, I had to glue a little scab on for the heel here and a, and a number of pieces actually I, I put some wings on the on the side of it so I could get a slightly uh, larger um, headstock out of it but uh, that was the inspiration for this particular banjo and it um, wasn't long before I found a, a salad bowl at Goodwill that I thought would uh, would suit the pot it's actually a 12 inch um, 12 inch bowl which originally actually I just have a few of the, the old parts laying around it was a pretty ugly looking salad bowl but this was the, this was the bottom of it and um, managed to cut that that guy off of there, and um, and get myself a, a pretty nice pot um, from that from that bowl. Had to work out what I was going to do with with my uh, tension ring and and other parts. I'm I'm not I, I just have never been real keen to spend money on stuff if I can fabricate it and figure it out myself. So. In this case, I, it occurred to me that I could, I could get an old aluminum um, pan. This is an old uh, Teflon frying pan, which I, uh, I cut about a five-eighths inch off the top of the, off the top of it, which became this uh, tension ring. Um, so I had to. The one challenge was getting the salad bowl to the right size so that this uh, this 12-inch um, Fry pan would work as a as a tension ring, and then for the for the hoop uh, grabbing the uh, the skin there, I, I use my uh, what I've used in the past are these little hoops that come off of um, uh, the racks that you put in your garden to hold up your tomatoes and so on. Uh, have these nice little rings in them, which uh, you can just cut out and. Uh, I was able to sand down the little nubs on them, and in this particular case, I had to cut the cut the ring. It wasn't the right size, but I just put a splice in it, and uh, it worked really great for uh, it's just the perfect size uh, for a for a ring to grab the the skin. And again, used my uh, my my favorite uh, skin seller is a guy in Wisconsin, Artifactorium, who sells on Etsy and sells these nice. Um, untreated, unbleached um, skins that often have a lot of clear spots in them, and I, I kind of ask them for that because I like, I like the, the look of them. Um, so, um, yeah, it was fun working with this Purple Heart, very hard wood. If this is the first time I decided to do a, a cutaway, um, which uh, was an interesting uh, thing to, to, to do and uh, came out pretty well. The... Uh, yeah, I made a, 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 I made everything. Initially, I made everything out of uh, purple heart, except for the pot, which I'm not really sure what kind of wood that is. It's not, it's not a hardwood or anything. But um, yeah, I just made a little tailpiece out of purple heart. Originally, made a bridge out of purple heart, but I found that there's something about the uh, when I switched out to this maple bridge, it just, it just perked the sound up uh, much crisper. For some reason, even though Purple Hearts are very hard wood, um, from my experience, I wouldn't recommend it as a as a bridge piece. Um, I used a, I just put a like a five eighths inch uh, dowel, round dowel, uh, just just bored a hole and, and put it up through the 
through the neck and then through the pot and uh, managed to, again to get uh, yeah just really pleased with the fact that I could get some decent action um, out of this and uh, of course the uh, the frets were the big challenge for me I'd never done anything like that didn't really have the tools for it and I uh, didn't really want to buy the tools for it but I, I did have a I do have a little um, very fine Japanese draw saw which uh, proved to be just about right to uh, to cut those little um, fret slots. I made a little miter box um, just to help me keep it square. And um, yeah, it's really, I, I wasn't sure it was gonna work. I wasn't sure that the frets were actually gonna stay, stay in the, the slots, but uh, yeah, it all came out pretty well. Got some, some shell pieces that I, I uh, I cut holes and, and put into the neck. You will notice something, uh, another trademark piece of, uh, I don't know, maybe this will be my thing from going forward, but um, the double fret on the uh, seventh fret, is it? Yeah, the, the, uh, that actually was uh, a mistake. I, I just made my calculations wrong when I laid out my frets and um, so that was an attempt, rather than pulling out the, the fret that was in the wrong place, it, I could actually squeeze one in next to it. And so, works okay. I really wasn't sure if the, the fret, how, how kind of precise the fret placement uh, um, calculations are. I used the Stumac calculator and I uh, must've just blown a measurement here when I, when I did this particular one. But uh, in the end, um, it works with that double fret and it's got a unique look. <laughs> and uh, I just bought some Grover tuners. Um, yeah, I wanted something uh, different for this one than just the uh, violin tuners. I wanted uh, more of a, yeah, these are just the old pressure tuners. Um, but um, real pleased with how it came out. I think it's probably one of my favorite uh, pieces. It's got a pretty warm tone. <laughs> Not as crisp as I had hoped, but um, you know, again, it's a combination of all the parts together that gives you the unique tone of, of any instrument. And for me, that's uh, actually one of the, the real exciting parts of, uh, of building an instrument is you, you just don't know until you, you try it, what it's gonna sound like, what's gonna uh, sound good, and what's not gonna sound great. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, and one thing one thing I've 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 also learned in this journey is uh, you know I get real excited about the the day when I can actually string string it up for the first time and 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 get an idea of what it's going to sound like. Often I'll do that with just one string once I have the skin stretched on the pot and I can just get a string uh, stretched over the the top of the skin uh, and the bridge to to just hear you know what's it sound like. Uh, real exciting time. And very exciting when you can actually string it up entirely and give it its first uh, test try. But it's interesting if you've done if if you've done this before, you'll realize that uh, that's often often a very discouraging moment because you get it all strung up and and it needs a lot of fine tuning. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, they talk about the setup, setting up an instrument, and uh, I've learned that that process can take. Uh, take quite a while after you, you get it initially strung, which takes a bit of time, and then you realize, oh, the action's too high or the action's too low. You gotta make a bridge, a different size bridge. Um, whatever it is that you might need to adjust to, uh, to actually make it uh, pleasingly playable, which has always been my goal. I, I don't want to make stuff to hang on the wall. I really want uh, to be able to play, play, play the instruments that I make and uh, yeah, anyway, this is uh, Bull Banjo number three, Purple Heart, the first fretted uh, instrument that I've made. And I, uh, I stuck a little little decorative little owl ornament up on the top of the neck. So there you have it. Thanks for watching.